Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Saturday morning. Yeah, I'm over here on the couch this morning. Oh, y'all. I gotta tell y'all, I tried to, you know, I'm real kind of low almost to the floor. And you know I got carpet right here. Y'all, I went to slide down and tried to uh get down so I can get closer. I almost couldn't get back up. I had to get back up. I got down there, but then I had to get back up because I forgot my uh, paper towel. And y'all shouldn't have seen me struggling getting up off this floor. I don't know if I should try that again. I think I got this table too close. I ain't sure. Let me see if I can come down to earth. Hold up. Not name one of y'all bet not laugh. Woo! Honey. Okay, I made it. Hey! <laughs> this don't make no sense. I think I get tired of sitting in the same spot. Either I'm over in that chair or I'm back there at the table. But y'all know that's my spot. My TV acting right today, y'all. Look. I ain't going to speak too soon. Help it, Lord. Help it. So I'm sitting down here in the cut. You know, trying to, you know, get a little close. Because it don't, it don't be too bright over here. That's another reason why I don't sit over here. Good morning. Good morning. No, I got to get situated. Woo. So we're going to get into this daily bread this morning. Let me go ahead and say my grace. Uh oh, there you go. You hear it spazzing over there? See, I tell you. Now you look at it. You know Miss K got a case creation over here for you. I ain't stood in that TV today. Okay, I got me uh, two small blueberry pancakes. And I had some dumb blueberries in there. Remember I got them? But a couple of them had some mold on it, so I ain't want to take a chance with none of them. So, you know, I don't like wasting food, but I ain't trying to, you know, eat no mold. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I, some of them didn't have it, and some of them did. I wasn't taking no chances. Okay, so we're going to get in with the grace right quick. Okay, let me put this down. Got my water. Okay, bam. And I got my... Fell, fell on back here getting some juice of course it's at six percent so we're gonna let her rest a second okay let's get our grace in all right let me get over here okay god is great god is good let us thank him for this food by his we all our feed give us lord our daily bread amen so how y'all doing this morning y'all guess what happened yesterday yeah this bed is a little shine back there I went to work yesterday, sure did, honey. How about they called me and asked me would I come in? And could I be there before 12 yesterday? Y'all should have seen me running around in here like a kid in a candy store. Honey, I was running. I found my little uniform, which I already had washed and cleaned. I just had forgot what drawer I put it in. So I heard up, ran and got that. I already had my shower and had breakfast like the Lord was prepping me. I was going to leave out, go to the store. I was going to do this. But everything that I wanted to do for some reason, it was like, all right, never mind. I'll do that later. i do this later. Honey, how about I got prepared up in here and I flew out the, out the door, walking up the street to go to work. And I had plenty of time to get there. So here I am all excited. I walked out the house. I got up here beside food line, y'all. It was so hot out there and I had rushed so. And I didn't have no bottle of water with me. So I said, you know what? It is too hot out here. So I went in food line park a lot and stood up under a shade tree. <laughs> And I got on my phone, and I called uh, Yellow Cab. I sure did. Just to go up the street, y'all, it was smoking out here yesterday. Now, if I would have walked all the way up there, no shade in sight, all the way across the bridge, all the way up, uh, and then go down that way, it's a short walk, but in the heat, it's not. And I don't care if you young, middle age, or old. No way. Yesterday was a beast, okay? And I didn't realize that until I got out there. So the cab came, and I made it on time. I only worked a few hours. And I guess he really wanted to see what I could actually do. And I did pretty good. But, you know, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Yay, Miss K went to work. Okay, now let me see how this phone's doing. Did I say my grace? Yeah. Okay, well, wait a minute. Let me. I'm a little. How they say? What's, I'm a little hungry. Let me just get in. How y'all doing? Look, get y'all a little bite. Y'all know me. Eggs, cheese, and milk. Uh, spinach, onions, uh, whole garlic, tomato. Season real good. A hot mess. Mm. Mm. See, I, I can't. Y'all gotta try this. This, on, this, I mean, it looks like a bunch of stuff. But. Mm -mm. Mm. It's not that bad at all. I won't sit over here no more, okay, y'all? I know y'all like, uh, -uh it's too dull. Mm. Let me taste my little blueberry pancake. Yeah, all this stuff fresh out the pot, baby. 
pay yes, it's smoking. Let's see. And well, here you go. Blueberry pancake. Ooh, look at that shirt about to drip. Ooh. Did I catch that? Mm. Okay, let me see if I got room over here to move this stuff around. Okay, y'all, we're getting into this daily bread today, okay? I meant to look up this word. Let me slide that to the side. Come on here, Bessie. Work for me. All right. Time for our daily bread. Mm. Good morning, good morning. It is now 6.48, y'all, in the a.m. And yes, I've been up since probably 3-something in the a.m. Okay, this is going to be coming out of... No. I'll take a look at this car buried in the sands just feet from the shore. It's crazy. Uh, this okay, is here we come. It's coming. Kind of Alabama, where there are some serious effects from Barry right now. But this I got to keep up with what's going on in the world. Hang on, y'all. I'm trying to let this phone get to where it need to be. I don't never be prepared. Uh, and as the tide just uh, okay. continued to rise around it, and it's not clear why that driver left his car so close Okay, this is it. Okay, this is going to be coming out of Ephesians 2, and people start those 8, and so right now, we're gonna 9. Like yeah, and you know, and I just saw For by grace, grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Again, that's Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Okay, the reflection. Today, temptation and the false path is often confused with salvation, which comes in many forms and guise. This salvation may, for some, including the diversions of drugs, sex, what is that, adulteries, consumption, and in the form of false prophets offering quick fixes. Often the worst perpetrator may even be ourselves once we forget God is in the driving seat. Thus it is only through Christ Jesus divination that we may understand true and everlasting salvation in the eyes of our Heavenly Father. It is only with our faith in the Lord and not in oneself or false prophets that may that we may find in grace. Okay, here's the prayer. Our Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy ha and hallowed be the sacrament between man and your majesty. Lead me not into the temptations of false salvation or to the heed and follow the words of lost prophets. Help me find the courage to strengthen my faith in thee and only thee, my Lord, in whom all true redemption and grace is found. Amen. Okay, cleansing yourself from sin. That's a story by David Jacobs. So we're going to go to the quiz. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians. Let me just put this phone on over here on this charger. Yeah, that came out a little rough. That TV was loud, honey. I ain't feel like struggling to get back up, so y'all had to take it down here. We're going to have to take it low. <laughs> okay? Take it low. Oh, I wish I could just clap that TV out. But, um... I hope you understood the daily bread, and uh, I hope it was a blessing to you. Oh, yeah, false prophets. I've been looking at some stuff, y'all, on some videos. It's out here. They out here. And I mean, they walk in full force. Motivational stuff. You know, not telling you what you really need to hear and what you really need to know. Y'all, I watched this video on YouTube last night of this little girl. They were speaking in another language, right? Y'all got to look this up, and as usual, I didn't write it down. But I cried so. I mean, the spirit just, I just just couldn't help it. I couldn't hold back the tears. I mean, I actually was crying. It was this little girl. Her mama was on her knees. Looked like they might have been in the kitchen. The mama was holding the little girl. Her mama on her knees. The daughter was in the chair. She was holding her. And this little girl was speaking in another language, saying, he's coming. He's coming fast. He's coming for his people. Now, I'm telling you the words, but I'm going to show you how this was going down. And the little girl was just a crying. I mean, she was rocking back and forth and, you know, kind of kicking. She wasn't violent with it, but she was she was moving, okay, and was crying and falling back, and her mama was holding on to her. 
And then her mother, you know, got in the spirit. And then there was another lady trying to assist the little girl. And then, well, what I'm trying to say, out of the mouth of babes. And I mean, this little girl was saying that he was coming fast. I saw this last night. I shared this with everybody that I possibly could. Y'all try to look it up. A video about a little girl praying. My with her mother, it looked like might have been some aunties or something. No. Jesus is coming fast, and she was all in the spirit. The little girl didn't even know where she was. I'm telling you that right now. So y'all take heed to some of this stuff. You can tell real from fake. You can. All you gotta do is ask the Lord to give you the eyes to see the real, and the, and the, and the mind and the eyes to know the fake. Okay? You know, like ain't nobody perfect, but it's some people have. They are intentionally. Wanting to do wrong and harm and, and bring false teachings, okay? So you just be careful and follow the Spirit of God. All right, I'm going to get off of here because I don't want to pass my time. I hope it download. But this is Kay. You was chilling with Kay, and I love you guys. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. And always, like I say, keep God first in your life. Bye now.